Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to complete the week seven challenges and how to get this road trip skin as fast as possible. Because when I'm making this video, when I'm uploading this video, uh, the road trip skin challenges come out at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Friday morning. They were delayed one day uh, this week uh, because I think because the update was so big, they had to delay the challenges one day because the updates was delayed two days, like the content update. But anyway, we're going to be talking about that in today's video. Now, there is a common misconception with the road trip scheme, which I'll cover first, then we'll get into all the guide and everything like that. If you guys could smack a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. Let's go for 405 likes. You guys have been killing that amount on like every single video. It's been absolutely insane. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Smack that sub button, drop a like. Let's get right into this. So first thing I got to address is with the road trip skin. Now, even though they have changed it to nine weeks of challenges, it still is that you only have to complete seven weeks of them to um, essentially unlock that road trip skin. So even though they did make that change to make it nine and they should have really clarified that they weren't changing the unlock, the road trip skin will be available to unlock once you have seven of the weeks done. Now, of course, this video, we're gonna be focusing more on the week seven challenges. Um, on my channel, I have guides for like every single week pretty much and um, week seven is what's coming up. And this is the one that last season with Risky Reels, this was probably the hardest week of challenges there ever was in this game because of how hard Risky Reels was to get those seven chests. They have altered it a bit in uh, this week's challenges. I'm going to talk about them and give them to you guys. I have announced them before previously on my channel, but give you guys my full and honest guide and opinion on how to complete these the fastest as possible and get your hands on that road trip skin before anybody else else by basically it's a race you know once the challenges are out you have to knock out these as quick as possible and it's a race and this is how you can unlock it before anyone else now first challenge you have three free tr challenges and then four battle pass challenges when these are released at 6 a.m the free challenges the first one visit different named locations in a single match now what this means is a named location is a place on the map that has a name obviously tilted towers retail row um you know the bigger areas now you have to go to four of them i'm not sure if every single named location will have one maybe like the small ones like junk junction lucky landing may not but what you have to do is in the center of them there will be like a flag you just walk up past that flag at the center of four different different named locations and you are good to go this one is a pretty easy uh, challenge to do previously how i done it was i went from like lucky landing so there was one at lucky landing last time so there probably will be but i went from lucky landing i moved my way up through fatal up through salty and then over to dusty that's how i did it last time that was the fastest way to complete it i'm not sure if it'll be the exact same challenge we had last season because uh they have been repeating some but usually they're they're altered a little bit but the center of named locations that's the way to do it that was my fastest route you want to find four around each other so you can complete that and uh, it does have to be done in a single match so you can do it in that in solos or maybe even in 50 v 50s where the other team is so far away from you so you don't really have to worry about being shot that could also be an easy way to do this one honestly probably yeah 50 v 50s is probably the fastest way to do it or you could just double it up and do this while doing other ones in solos next is to search three supply drops now this is the one that is going to give people a lot of trouble and the way to get an advantage on this is to hop into soaring 50v50s where supply drops do drop a lot more at a much more common or increased rate in the 50v50 game modes because those are basically like a TDM sort of thing. They drop a load of supply drops. Search three supply drops. Now the key is you have to you have to be the one that, that searches it and that opens it. So you're going to have to keep an eye out, keep an ear out and probably I'd say build a base or something. If you're doing this in 50v50 50, build like a base up and then shoot down the uh, supply drop and wait for it to come into the top of your base so other people simply can't just you know you don't want to be open on the ground where another person could beat you to it if there's competition build and sort of build versus your 50 to 50 teammate and get that next is uh smg eliminations this one is, is calculated as hard it's three smg kills honestly this one is pretty self-explanatory there's not many tips i have to give except run to like a populated area tilt the towers or something grab an smg and just start to spray if you're having trouble um smgs are great at spraying and just spraying for the head they also have pretty good hip fire if you are having trouble you can use a shotgun like a pump and then kill, uh, hit them with the pump and then finish them off with the smg um that's something you could do for that those are my tips for that then of course we have the battle pass challenges now Battle Pass challenges are a little bit more tricky this week. The first one being deal damage to opponent structures with remote explosives. Now, I'm not sure. Right now, it says you have to do 8,000 damage to structures. I'm not sure if this will be altered when it comes out, but I think 8,000 just seems like... Uh, a lot but in actuality if each of your the walls have a couple hundred uh hp c4s you know remote explosives are c4s you know how strong they are and how fast they blow things up uh shouldn't be too hard probably for this one honestly 
50 to 50 as well. That can be like a pretty good game mode because there's so much builds. Squads could work for this one or anything like that. But uh, you want to try to get yourself some C4s, make it into the late game. And when people have those big, big forts, sort of crouch, crouch, crouch sprint up behind them. Boom, boom, boom. And just blow up the whole thing. You want to build up, blow up the biggest base as possible. And it does have to be to your opponent's structure. So you can't just build a base yourself and do it uh, if you guys were thinking about doing that. Next one is the search chest one. Now, this one is a bit different, and this is the one that gave everyone the trouble last season with the blockbuster skin, which is the equivalent of the road trip skin this season. What was so tough about searching chests is that everyone was trying to get the blockbuster skin first. You know, it's a race. Everyone wanted to, be, to get it before anyone else, and... Um, because of that, Risky Reels was so overpopulated, the game was basically unplayable because no one went anywhere else on that first day or two of the Week 7 Challenges Season 4 with the Blockbuster skin, Blockbuster skin, aka The Visitor. So, they've learned from their mistakes, and Epic Games has changed this. I've talked about it before on my channel. Basically, it's in stages now, and stage challenges are going to continue in the future, I believe. So, this week's stage is, is going to be the, ch the chest searching one. So, this is to spread more people out. Stage one is to search a chest at Pleasant. So, you're, you're going to have to go to Pleasant Park. You're going to have to get one chest. Probably a lot of people are going to be going there, and then you'll move on to stage two, which will be something like, I'm not sure the exact order, but it'll be something like search a chest at retail, and search a chest at greasy. It'll send you all over the map but basically by completing those challenges and you might you may have to do it in separate games although you can check your challenges in game so the stage should update and you should know where you're going to have to go you can get this one done and basically just go to each of the stages i'm not sure if it's going to be uh you have to search seven chests five or ten because it says one battle star per per stage so that would make me think that usually there's these are seven but getting seven battle stars seems like an awkward number so maybe this is a five stage thing that would be my my guess if i had to put money on it but who knows Next one is to follow the treasure map found in Dusty Divot. Now, this one is pretty easy, of course. It's just where you find the Battle Star. And I made a full video on this one if you guys want to check it out. But it is pretty easy and self explanatory. This is the map that you'll find, the treasure map you'll find in Dusty Divot. I'll show it up on the screen uh, right now. And basically, what is shown in this map is just that you can see that there is a uh, one of those stone hedges or the dum dums or whatever you want to call it. There's one with a mustache on it. And this one is located just north of Dusty Divot, right? That's why you see the north on the map. Just uh, between Dusty divot and that broken down house and around dusty depot you guys probably know there's that place with the rift that rock with all the rifts and right behind it there's three trees right there is where you grab it if you need more help than that you can check out my video i made earlier but just dusty divot north you find the rock head it's right behind it in the middle of three trees not too hard to find on that one probably one of the easier treasure maps we've had i mean they're all pretty easy the treasure map ones it's, it's the search between that can get kind of tough next is uh the last challenge which is to eliminate three opponents in lazy links this one is classified as hard and on Honestly, it is going to be hard, this 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 one, because so many people are going to try to complete it. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. Number one is you land at Lazy Links, you try to fight it out, but there, you have to make sure you're, you're good at dropping and getting a good landing because there's going to be so many different people there. The other way to do this, of course, is going to be to land somewhere else, land at like a, the outskirts of it and move your way in. That could be a smarter way to do it, third parties and fights. I'm not sure. I would probably suggest just landing right on there, seeing how much trouble you have, and then if you are getting into a lot, a lot of trouble, try maybe landing out and rotating over there but you have to make sure it's quick so you can get those kills that's just three kills can be done in different matches but of course you want to get it done as fast as possible because you guys want to complete these challenges get yourself the road trip skin before anybody else because it is pretty pretty hype and who knows if there's little you know hints or, or hidden or secrets with it like maybe it's customizable or maybe it has a cool back bling. we don't know any of that we know what it looks like but we don't really know too much about that anyway guys thanks for watching drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new have a great night i'll leave you guys with uh, the rest of this older gameplay get a victory royale and uh yeah road trip uh skin the challenges hopefully this did help you guys out drop a like and uh best of luck in all your guys challenges adventures and i'm out peace